Oh no, it happened again. We had a great call, a great demo. Then we gave the pricing and all of a sudden it got cold. They left, we call them, we email them and they never get back to us. What happened? I'll tell you what happened. There are five mistakes people make when they give pricing and they're terrible. They can kill an awesome hot deal and make it go really sad, really quick. Let's discuss. Hey, it's Matt Wallach, and I help you close more deals so that you can grow your software company and get all those awesome dreams that you've been dreaming about at night. Make sure you're subscribed. You don't want to miss out on any of the tips or formulas that I give you for making things a lot easier in what you're doing. So hit the subscribe button and the little bell. That way you'll get notified of any new stuff I come out with. And today we're talking about pricing. This is something that a lot of my clients I work with struggle with. You see, I work with software companies. They hire me to come in and help them understand how to close more deals, help them understand how to grow. And so I work with the founder, I work with CEO, I work with the sales teams as well so that they can close. And a lot of times what I see is that they're doing okay on the demo, but then all of a sudden they give the pricing and what they do when they give the pricing absolutely kills the deal. That is not good. We definitely don't want that. So I'm going to share with you five mistakes that are commonly made on pricing so that you can make sure you're not making those same mistakes. This is not about what your price is or what your packages look like. It's purely about how you deliver the cost, how you share that cost with your buyers when you're there with them. Number one, before we get into it, I should say this is number zero because it's kind of an overarching thing. What happens when we share price is sometimes we're really worried that the price is going to be too much or it's gonna feel really high to the buyer, right? And so we're not really confident in our price. And so the first step is we need to get confident in the price. You need to make sure that you believe the pricing is right, that the buyer is going to be helped from on the product much more than they're going to pay on the price. And so that confidence in the price will come out in what you say and how you act. We need to make sure we're confident because some of these mistakes come from not being confident. And so number one, that definitely comes from the first mistake that people make is when they give their pricing, they say qualifying words to make it sound better. They say things like just or only. The cost is only $4.97 a month. Uh Uh-oh. When you do that, the buyer can perceive that you're trying to sell them. They can feel that you're trying to make that sound better. Hey, why did they say it's just $800? Why not just say 100? They must try to tell me that it's better than what I think. And so their brain tells them that you're trying to make it sound better. Hey, it's only $2,000. Uh-oh, why did they say that? Don't say just, don't say only, just give the cost very clearly. That leads us into number two. When we're giving the cost, again, sometimes we're scared of it. So we stutter or we get choppy or we're trying to finesse it a little bit, right? Hey, yeah. Okay. Let me show the cost. So the way, well, it kind of, there's this, there, it's, 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 it's about 2000. Oh man, your lack of confidence there. That buyer's gonna be like, wait, hold up. Like everything went nice, but then they're really kind of worried on this. Should I be worried about this pricing too? And they do get worried and it does not go well. We have to give pricing very clearly, very confidently so that they feel confident about it and they know you're not scared of it. It sounds very normal. It sounds like, yeah, you should be excited that this is what the cost is, not scared of it. Hey, we're two in. If this is helpful so far, definitely hit that like button down below. That shows me this is good stuff for you and I can make sure I make more videos like this for you. But also what that does is that tells other people and it tells YouTube to show it to other people that this is a good quality video. I wanna make sure I'm giving you good stuff. So hit that like button for me. If you have any questions, comment them down below. Number three, the pricing mistakes that we give, one of them is we give options. Now, let me tell you, buyers, they're very unclear on what to do. From the other videos that you've seen on this channel, you should know that we need to make sure we are the guide. We are a consultant. We're an advisor to the buyers. And if that's the case, we're doing that because they have no idea what they should be doing. They don't know if they should do this or that. And the whole time you should be guiding them. And that includes with your pricing. So the big mistake people make is that they give options and they say, okay, great. Hope you like everything. Well, by the way, you can have this one. It's going to be $49 or this one's $149 or you can have the premium gold package. That's $449. Which one do you want? 
guys. Remember, they don't know. They don't remember which is the right thing for them. They don't know which is the best package for them. It's really critical that we guide them to the right package. There's an old adage that a confused buyer doesn't close. A confused buyer does not convert. So if that's the case and you're going to give them, hey, here's everything. Good luck. No, give them a recommendation. Let them know that, hey, based on this, I think this middle silver package is the best option for you because you said you need this. You're not going to have to pay for stuff you don't need. Let's put you in that package. Let's get you started right away. That sounds so much better than, hey, pick what you want. I, I don't know. Be the guide, be the advisor. That's number three. That gets us to number four. Number four happens when, again, we're scared of our pricing. And so we give it, but then we offer discounts right away. Hey, it's $1,000 a month. But if that doesn't work for you, just let me know. We can work something out. I know that sounds crazy when I say it. Guys, I've listened to thousands of calls. I hear that all the time because you're so worried about it and you start introducing, I don't want to lose them. I don't want to let them go and make them realize or make them think that they didn't have more room to get to the right price. No, make sure that you get them the correct cost. They might be willing to pay for it. Don't start introducing, oh yeah, we're going to discount that. Don't worry. Everybody's then going to ask you for the discount and now you just lost revenue. Okay. So don't give discounts right away. Make sure you get them to understand that this is the cost. If you have discounts available, you can use those later. You don't have to use it right now. Get them to the right cost, get the value, and you're probably going to sell a lot at that if you give that cost confidently. Four down, now number five. Number five happens all the time. You get to the end of the call, you're out of time, you got another call starting soon, and they say, hey, what's the pricing? You say, oh, I'm just going to send it to you. I'll send you a proposal. Happens a lot. So you send the proposal, you had a great call, but then they open up that email and you never hear from them again. Why? It's because if they see your pricing for the first time when they open up that email, even though your proposal is awesome, it has all these cool things talking about all the great stuff they're going to be able to do. They'll go right to that pricing page. They'll look at that big number and they'll say, whoa, $24,000. I had no idea I'm out of here. So the big mistake is giving our pricing first by email. Always, always share the pricing verbally. Now I know some of you are like, well, I have it all right on the site. It's just sitting on the site. Yes, I get that. If it's sitting on your site and they already know that, that's fine. But in many cases, it's not. Or in many cases, the site shows just the starting price or something like that. If the pricing is not fully known yet, never share it by email first. Always go through it with them. Hey, let me just walk you through this real quick. Remember you said you're struggling with this. Well, you're going to get this. This is covered by this. You're going to also get this. Remember, we also saw this. You literally love that. So you're going to be able to kind of share the ROI, share the benefits, share some stories around it while giving the pricing. It softens the blow on it. It helps them understand where they're getting value and where they're going to get results from it. By the way, if you run out of time and you don't have enough time to do that, set another call. We call it a cost review call. Hey, I just do need to know the price before we go. Oh, you know what? We ran out of time. But what I want to do is kind of put some things together for you. Really make this awesome. I got to make sure that we're getting the right pricing for it. I don't want to pay too much for what you what you need. So I'll package something together. Why don't I put that together overnight? How do you look tomorrow at 10 o'clock? Just 10 minutes. We'll go through it. Make sure you're good to go. Who's not going to agree to that? First, you just said you're going to make it as strong as possible for them and try and save them money. So you're now on their side. And if they say, hey, it's 10 minutes, well, they can't not agree to that. Of course, you might need to find the right time. But even cooler, if you set the cost review call and they show up, you know they're interested. So it's a nice Nice barometer to you to show you this guy, this person, this woman, they are interested. They loved the demo. We got them. Those are the five mistakes that people make when sharing pricing. Now that you know them, let's make sure we're not making those same mistakes. I want to make sure you're not making mistakes throughout your entire sales calls, your entire demos. So I put together a program that helps you understand exactly how to run your demos so that you have fantastic beginning. You have awesome middles and you have great ends of those calls, not just this pricing point. It's called Software Demo Secrets. Definitely go check it out because Software Demo Secrets is where I put all of the secrets from the top salespeople in software, what they're doing that other people are not doing. And they kept these secrets all along. Well, that's not cool. I wanna share those secrets. I want you to have those. So I put them all together into this course. It's real quick. You can get through it in about a few hours and then you're done. You now have all the secrets. So there's a link down below, check it out. A lot of people have taken it, thousands of people have taken that course. I've gotten tons of messages about how awesome it is and how much it's helped them. So I hope it helps you too. And I hope that overall this helped you. Once again, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. I've got some really, really cool stuff coming out for you in the next few weeks. Well, it's been a lot of fun. Take care. I'll see you next time.